Hello beauties! I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome or welcome back if you're new here, which I'm pretty sure you are. I haven't uploaded in a year, so if you're seeing this, hi. And if you are one of my subbies who has not unsubscribed, I genuinely love you and I hope you're doing amazing. Something that I do, especially in, in, in the coming year, like I want to be more active on here. I want to try to like maybe upload two times a week just to start out, just to like get my groove back. Um, and that'll be all different kind of videos, like reviews, basically like beauty industry wise. Um, I definitely want to do some lifestyle videos, maybe a few vlogs. So today I am going to be doing my everyday makeup routine on dry skin. Like, my skin is so, 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 so dry. Joke can I say that I have a uh, cactus skin because I need a little bit of moisture on my face to just uh, soak up. I'm going to show you the products that I use to moisturize before we put all this stuff on our face. So I wash my face with the Drug Elephant Jelly Cleanser. It is so good. And then after that, I prepped my face with the Road Peptide Glazing Fluid. To moisturize, I use the Real Skin Barrier Restore Cream. I am actually almost out of both. I have to re-up on this. I have a backup of this. Hopefully when I get paid next week, it'll still be on the website. I also use their Peptide Lip Treatment. But to finish that off, I use the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, adaptogens, and coconut water. But not to mention, I do use the Drunk Elephant um, Shower Complex Eye Serum right after I put my skin into the good stuff. First thing I do, I always start with my brows. So I'm just going to use this dark brown pomade that carve out my brows and stuff. Ah. Okay, so brows are done. I look a little crazy now, but trust the process. So now I'm gonna go in with the <clears throat> P. Louise base in room one. And I used it, I applied it, it just like broke up in my entire eyelid. It was not good. But, and I only applied a light layer, so maybe I need to add more. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna pick some up like this, and we're gonna apply it a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna need more. Yep. I'm just gonna pop it on my eye. Why not, right? And I know this shade is really, really light for me, but Morphe had the 50% off fill. And I could not resist. So it was either this one. Or another one, maybe the one was too dark. I'm not sure I'm liking this. Honestly, like, it's not full coverage at all. Like I said, my skin is really, really dry. So, for this to be like breaking up and basically look like my eyelids are oily. It's not good. So I don't know if you can see, like it's breaking up. Like, unless I'm using it wrong, please. If I'm using it wrong, please let me know. I would love to like this, but I don't. This video in <laughs> itself might be an oxymoron, as I did say I'm gonna do my heavy photo, which I, which I completely am, like one thousand percent am. But I just got a YouTube face makeup makeup gummy collection, and I really want to use it to test it out. Luckily, the palette has, actually has the shades that I use anyway, so yeah. The shades that I don't have, I'm just going to use the bronzer as an eyeshadow. So you have not open this yet. Let's put it together. Ooh, this is so cute. How cute is this? But then, I want to apologize for 
the angle that this is in. I'm trying to work on it. And when I put my tripod like on the floor, it's really low, which is not a good angle. And then when I put it on here, it's just really high. So I'm gonna have to like, I guess, get some boxes and just like stack it on the floor so it's a little more closer to you guys. It's fine, it'll do for now. We're gonna with that and we'll continually cooperate for the public. This is so cute. How gorgeous are these colors? And that's blush. So I'm gonna grab this little <clears throat> blending brush. Doesn't have enough, but it's just by color. I'm going to grab Sweet Spot, which is this one right here. Ooh. Do you see that? Like, it's like breaking up. Like, it seems like my lids are only when they're not. Anyway, we're gonna apply Sweet Spot. And I'm just gonna put this right in my crease. So a lot of things happened, which is what made me like not film. Stuck in Florida this past year, and I was supposed to go for two weeks. I ended up being there for a month. My plane just like kept getting pushed back and delayed, which is so weird. I was so I was staying in my aunt's house when I was in Florida, and I just it just got to a point where it was extremely toxic and i was there with my grand aunt which is my aunt's aunt and she couldn't take it either so we decided to leave so we went from fort lauderdale to palm beach for the last week and some change that we were there that's that when I came back home. There was so much drama. And then the aunt who I left in Florida who was causing drama and just called all of my family and just like made something really small into something really big. Which is unnecessary because I don't live for drama. I don't like drama. Anytime there's drama around, like I stay away. I don't care if you're family or not. Like if you're dramatic and you live for the nonsense and the gossip, like you don't even come around me. Like my piece is too important to have drama points. So, like I said, when I got back, she called majority of my family. They blocked me on Facebook, on the phone, and all that jazz. Which is fine, because it just shows like, who they actually are. As a person, like we hear one side of the story, you have no idea why I left or what caused me to leave. And you take this person's side, but it's fine. So, when I got back, I was supposed to take like my real estate um, a course exam and I didn't have any time to study while I was in Florida. Um, like I studied here and there but I didn't have enough time when I got back it was really time for my test. So I tried to cram last minute study. I failed which is fine. I was supposed to restart like the course um luckily it's online so i can just like do it like that we start the course in september but i got a job at ulta and i had no time to do that so i'm like you know what when january comes that's just gonna be like my main focus so, so next i'm gonna go into my bronzer this is a morphe times amani greg in hawaii here's this and i'm just gonna put this all over my eye so put it at ulta i only worked eight shifts literally eight shifts and that's it and this is because of discrimination that was a seasonal hire for the holidays and it was supposed to be from october through February, a seasonal, right? So I got hired 
and every little thing that I did, I felt like I was being hogged on. Like people were just like, all the managers were just staring at me and like making complaints about literally everything that I would do. They had me zone uh, pro hair. And you know, I would go ask the customers if they need help. Um, if they did, I would find them what they need, right? Just regular stuff. And if they didn't need help, I would just try to like, we'll do the pro hair and like reorganize and like fix the shelves. And the girls who were in Mass Beauty, which is right next to Pro Hair, would just stand in a corner and gossip the entire time. Managers would pass by Kiki with them, mind you. These are mostly, there were some seasonal, more seasonal than normal, and nobody said anything, but it was always me. Like, oh, you should be doing this, this, and this when you focus on doing work. Or if it's like, if they put me on a register, oh, your customer service can be better. Mind you, <laughs> I've been in customer service since 2011. So that's what, 11 years, and I'm 29. So you do the math, right? No one has ever complained about my customer service before Ulta, before everything. Like I was working at a liquor warehouse. I was an assistant manager for four years and everyone loved me. Literally everyone loved me, right? There was no issues. I would get praise for my customer service. So when I come to Ulta and they tell me I need to work on my customer service, that's life. Every type of personality, I can deal with it. So you're just nitpicking on everything that I do, but everyone else isn't the issue. So what caused me to leave after eight shifts, which is two weeks, right? The pay was supposed to be bi-weekly, so every two weeks. So they said, the first week that I worked, plus the second, I would get paid on that third week. So I'm like, do I have to get paid on every week that the employees, like every employee? He goes, no. You pay, you get paid the second week from your start date. I start on a Monday. So I work the whole week, Monday through Friday, and then the next week, Monday through Friday. And then the following Friday from the next week, I would get paid for those two weeks. That never happened. I waited an entire month and they only paid me one week. They clocked me in for one for one week, which is literally insane because my first week there I told them like my work jam wasn't working and I gave them my shift my shift times and they said yeah don't worry we'll clock you in. They never did. So I reached out to HR, they're disgusting, like truly, truly are disgusting, especially to seasonal workers. But I did tell them, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm a VA and I'm missing a week's pay, right? So mind you, this is, this is after I quit. On the same day that I was gonna go speak to the manager about my week's pay, that I'm missing an entire week's pay, they told me that I was like being considered for termination for stealing loyalty points, which I never did. It was actually completely impossible because I never even signed up to my account when I was in the register. And most of the time I was on the floor, which is weird. So I'm like, okay, you want to play? You want to accuse me of stealing loyalty points that you're only going to pay me a week? I got you. So I left. And then I sent HR the email. I said I was a VA. I'm missing a week's pay. And she emailed me and said, You're seasonal. And she like said, Oh, you have to speak to like the DM or something. So I'm like, first of all, you're extremely rude. 
Like, I don't care if I'm seasonal or not. You don't talk to an employee. Like, that really, oh, you're too annoying, you're not actually a PA. Like, you're rude. Like, top of that, so the DM emailed me. We don't want DM as district manager. She emailed me back and she was like, I want to talk to you over the phone. I'm like, ma'am, whatever you want to talk to me about, you can keep it via email. I've been advised to do so. She stopped emailing me. Clearly, she wanted to tell me something over the phone that she could not tell me over email because me, I keep paper trails. Like, I'm not about to, like, look stupid, you know? Like, I need to have, like, every fact, every, like, detail, like, if it goes to court. She said she was going to deal with the pay. She never did. I had to contact the DOL, which is the Department of Labor. And they opened up a case, a caseworker to go through the case. And once the Department of Labor reached out to them, they sent me the week's pay. From the time I got paid, it took them another month to send me the other week. So it takes you almost two months to send out my two weeks pay. As it was paid to me so late, I had the case in Ulta. So once that caseworker gets back to me, it's on. I am going to take this fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna blend the edge of this. Oh, do you see that? Like right here, it's like removing the primer that was here it's fine it's fine it's fine i don't like that but yeah i'm not using this primer ever again next i'm gonna go in with the shade sweet tooth right here i'm gonna take my finger and i'm gonna swipe it on my lid You can see that, and then I'm just gonna come back and with the blending brush and something on it, and I'm gonna blend this thing. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing end of the year and have, having great holidays. So that's what we're gonna do for right now. We're gonna leave the eyes like that for now because we're gonna work on this skin. I just found a sample of Merit um the complexion perfecting stick it's a four scent and this uh comes in a pack of four and this shade right here is amber i'm just gonna actually try this out i have the elf putty bronzer contour stick okay so i'm gonna take this and i'm just gonna start from here and i'm gonna that is really orange. Oh, <laughs> that's really orange. Let's just blend this baby out. I don't like that. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Cacao. Now, we're gonna go in and highlight. I use the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Perfecting Concealer in Fair Neutral. I found my code drop, so I'm just gonna take some of 
this. brush. I think I'm going to do what I'm going to start with here. I'm going to pat. I'm going to pat it. And then we're going to we're going to blend it in lightly. I did it again. Posted that next year I'm gonna do the Color Pop Times Winks collab. And if you're like me, an old daddy who's literally like obsessed with winks, 
you're about, you've, you've already seen freaked up over three times in it. What a couple of is about. But the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I'm gonna sit under my eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe Times Omani bronzer. I'm gonna go over the contour. So now we're gonna finish up our eyes and I'm gonna grab Sweet Spot again and I'm just gonna underline it. And the Morphe again and I'm just gonna repeat the process that I did on top. with the J Cat Rulet Up Auto Eyeliner in white. The Too Faced Sweet Tooth, the gold one that I use up here. I show you up close, it's gonna look really good. Unlatched my wander bead. This is a mini size because the full size one was sold out. So I just picked this one up. And now let's wet it on. So now, whatever powder we have here from the baking, I'm just gonna wipe off. I'm gonna wipe it all away. My highlighter brush. This is a Morphe M510. This is that Slightly Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette Pod. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna dip into Spoiler Alert, which is this one. Um, oh Honey. Shade Enlighten, which is right here, and I'm gonna go in and just 
slow it down and just bend it on the high peak right there. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Snap everything. But not from like the bottom. Go. The Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in a Metal's Place. I think that is everything in my routine. So I'm gonna show you up close and personal. I'm gonna just insert a pic so you can like see it really, really good. So that is everything. This is how I do my everyday makeup routine. You made it to this part of the video and you are a part of the Cat's Eye Skin Club. Leave a cactus emoji in the comments below. The let's start our own little game, right? <laughs> but thank you so much for getting this far in the video again. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you in the new year.